So now we're at the last one for the C row, a C13. This is a modified block. So we're gonna go to the booklet. And so the difference is they've changed the way that these corners are working. <clears throat> so we have basically an on point assembly. So if you look at it from this standpoint, we're gonna assemble this row and this row and this row and then I'll put on two opposing corners and then the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna make these half square triangles, make the rail fence together, and then same thing here, and then I'll be able to connect this into rows. So here's my pieces. I'm gonna be basting these, these, these rectangles. I do the short side first and then the long sides. The squares, I'll do opposite sides first and then the other two. For these triangles, I'm going to do one of these starting with the hypotenuse first and then the legs, but then the other one I'm going to do opposite, so I'm going to do the legs and then the hypotenuse. That way the tags will nest a lot better so that you get a flatter seam. So again, we're going to do this on an on point assembly. For these, I'm probably going to base the legs first and the hypotenuse to make the tags go away from the center of the block into the sashing. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get one of these rows basted so I can get to assembly. So I've got my first section basted. You'll notice that these tags are gonna nest real nicely in here. So I will assemble these into a unit, these into a unit, and these into a unit so that I can get my row assembled. So I've assembled my pieces together. I noticed as I was doing this, it's real easy to get these twisted around. And you know, if you can do that intentionally, that's one thing, but just make sure you're consciously aware of the way this goes back together. This is my center square, so I wanna make sure that the opposing colors are touching it to get the effect that I'm looking for. So I'll go ahead and put these together in this order. So I've assembled my first section. This is what it should look like. So I'm gonna set this aside. Next is to go to the next row. I'm gonna put these together in a unit and these together in a unit and I'll be able to assemble this all as a row. So I've got the middle row all assembled. The next thing to do would be to connect it to the first one. So I've attached these two rows and this is what it should look like. The next thing to do would be to assemble these units and make this third row. So I've got the third row all done and I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the rest of that square. So I've completed the center square. Now the next thing to do is to baste and attach opposing triangle ends. I'm going to baste this with the legs first and then the hypotenuse to make the tags go out towards the uh, sashings. So I've attached the opposite corners and the next thing to do is to finish up by adding the top and the bottom. So I've connected the other two corners and now my C13 block is completed and I can assemble the C row.